show your support, like, share and subscribe. It's a penultimate day, 29th yes. of September, One day, 24 hours left. <laughs> yeah, technically this is my last bit of actual content, so... Yeah, of that yeah. British guy. Yeah, I've got well, one final f- goodbye tomorrow, but that's it. Yeah, well, this you is, did lose. This is so. it. <laughs> Yeah, wow. <laughs> so, you know, let's Cold-hearted. just get the facts straight. It's just like, yeah, I beat you, you lost, you're a loser, go away. Yeah, so, yeah, bye. <laughs> yeah. Do you, do you have somebody in two weeks' time on the podcast with you? Um, I can try. Are you to still, trying to, yeah. still trying to nail someone down? I'll find another channel. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I am actually... Uh, Speaking of podcasts, I am actually going to try and find some amateur Pokemon YouTubers and see if I can get like a one-off podcast. Pri- oh, cool. Pre-Sword and Shield, maybe post if it goes down well. Cool. Just, What's that, yeah. to get them on your channel or to appear on theirs? or? Um, well, if I sort or... of organise it, we can all put it on each other's or I can just put it on mine and they can share it. Either way, I don't know. Yeah, Got to find idea. the people what, first. What kind of, say, three, four, five of you or something all in kind of one big discussion chat thing. Yeah, I'd say a good four would be nice. That's pretty you know? cool. All subscribers can find new people to follow, new content, and be happy with the increased number of quality they're getting. You know, Good and, idea. Uh, good chat. Yeah, so I'm going to have a look at that, speaking of podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Well, it makes sense, because it, it, it would be, you would think that they would enjoy the content across all the channels if someone subscribed to person A and then they listen to B, C and D and go, well, okay, you're going to be doing content that I would quite like to watch. So Exactly, I would hope so. Yeah, good idea. Indeed. I know it's uh, last day tomorrow, but what are you going to plan with your general life? <laughs> um, Just being a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be a gamer. That sounds fun. I'm going to play more Rise of the Tomb Raider because I've started that recently. Ah, so. uh, okay. Is that the latest one? Again. No, it's the second one. I oh. uh, I kind of didn't like the last one that much. It was a bit of a meh story. Yeah, fair but enough. But I remember really, really liking Rise of the Tomb Raider, which was the first one on PS4. So. Okay, yeah, then. Just been playing that. I think... I, uh, what one? Uh, I don't know. My partner's got one of them. Tasha's got one of them. I can't remember which one. You probably know. <laughs> she, I believe she, she at least had both of them because she oh, okay. got Rise of the Tomb Raider before me because she got it on Xbox One. Oh, fair enough. And I swore her to secrecy for a year because <laughs> I had to wait one, and I was determined to not buy an Xbox just to play one game. <laughs> so I, I sat on my hands and stuck my fingers in my ears. Although that's. Is that possible? Um, Logistically, if I'm sitting on my hands? You know what I mean. Yeah, well, yeah, <laughs> you can find a and, way. Yeah, <laughs> swore her to secrecy and avoided everything that was on the internet to do with it for a whole year. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, I just as a word of warning to anyone as well as you, if you're planning on playing it, I don't know if it's that one, it might be, but um, if you ever get onto a boat, and there's fast travel from there. Don't save on the boat, because the next time you go to that fast travel, for some reason, it will then corrupt your save data. Oh yeah, I remember here. I think that might be the newest one. It was. I think I can't remember. Yeah. Either way, if you get to a boat and you're thinking yeah. of stopping for the night, maybe just fast travel somewhere else and then save and then go back. Oh, uh, fair enough. I don't even know if it'll be the same boat or the right game, but either way, just be safe. <laughs> Yeah, they must have patched that out by now, surely. But I suppose it's not worth the risk, is it? No, probably not. <laughs> Fair oh, enough. Well. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Productive week. Uh, yeah, not too bad. What you mean, work-wise or channel-wise? Oh, channel-wise. <laughs> I mean, channel-wise. This week was done a little while back. Apart from obviously this video. So, yeah, yeah it's not been uh, not been too bad, and yeah. That's fair, right? Find something else to do with my time now, I guess. <laughs> Lots of games. Yeah, yeah, I just wish I had money for all of them, but, you know. Win the lottery, Hopefully. buy every game. 
in the world. Yes, that is definitely what I would do. I would I would buy all of the games <laughs> and all of the collector edition of all the upcoming games. That would be nice. And mm. put them all in a massive room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Or two rooms, or four. I don't know. <laughs> one one room for each console. Yeah. Oh, perfect. That's all that it would needs. That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, sadly, I haven't been doing that. Ah, oh, what have you been doing? <laughs> uh, just well, I've been trying to make some content. I had a couple of days okay. off last week. Uh, managed to film an entire Get Fact episode that was uh, copyright infringed a couple of times. Uh, I didn't want, is uh, that why yeah. it's never arrived at all? Because I know you said that you were going to get it uploaded the next day or something. Yeah. Yeah, it was copyright protected, so I thought, oh, maybe there's something on one of the anime clips I've used. So I sort of adjusted the background and the clip a bit to the way I sometimes do it to avoid that. And it was still cancelled again. Oh. Uh, yeah, I was going to try and go for a third time, but I was like, I don't know if there's like a three strikes and you're done for a bit rule. I th- I think you can appeal. Yeah, I appealed and appeal re- was rejected. Oh. So I don't want to tempt fate. Fair enough. Did but they give yeah. you reason or did they just go, nope? Yeah, just rejected. But oh, then again, it was um, ten banned Pokemon anime episodes and I showed clips of why they were banned, so I suppose it's my own fault, really. <laughs> nah, I don't think they're that... Yeah. There, was well. bits, yeah, there was bits of me saying, this... This certain thing hasn't been broadcast since it was aired, and I'm just like, yeah, maybe, maybe I shouldn't maybe have chosen that. Yeah, well, that's a shame. But uh, yeah, I might try and upload it on actual Facebook because that seems to not care about copyright laws. <laughs> Fair enough. But yeah, yeah I uh, mean, yeah. The, the only other thing I suppose you could do is maybe go for stills instead of moving pictures. Yeah. I know that doesn't explain what you're talking about in the best light, but. Maybe that would work. Maybe. Yeah, it might be worth a go, but it'd just take a lot of re-editing, which I might do eventually. Yeah, or even just flipping the picture might work. Yeah, that was actually my first thought. Well, my third thought. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't like I say. It, I, it's been stopped twice, and an appeal turned yeah. down. So I don't want to tempt fate and try it. It's it's not very helpful when they don't tell you why properly, or when you appeal it, they just go. Uh, your appeal has been rejected, but say, yeah. like, it's been rejected based on X, Y, and Z. So you can go, oh, okay, so if I fix X, Y, and Z, it won't get rejected, rather than just, uh, no. Exactly. That's not helpful. But, oh, well, like I say, I had that day off, so as a sort of quick substitute, I got Trevor in. He was free. Hey, that's handy yeah. to know. He had the day off work. Maybe you should do a podcast with him. <laughs> That would be. <laughs> that could be interesting to say the <laughs> least. <laughs> yeah, I'll have a look into it. <laughs> Trevor and Pocket Pigeon, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need to teach him my name. He's uh, yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. I have been trying to um, feature him in a video of my own, so we'll see how that goes. I was sure. trying to see if he'll make a slight cameo on screen, but uh, always good. Yeah, got to look into how that can work. <laughs> Yeah, just give him some dried tea bags. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll yeah, it'll it'll turn up for that. Yeah, so at least I've got that video up. Cool. And Thursday what about was next week. Trainer. What's that? Next week. Yeah. Oh Christ! I don't know. Planned <laughs> next or not week, planned? N- uh, not planned. Well, sort of. Oh. Next week uh, is the first week of me working in Whitham full time, which is ten uh-huh. minutes from my house, so I have time. Which is- all of the good. Yes, exactly. I've, um, as people would have seen already, Master Trainer came out on Thursday, and uh, um, a small minute and a half trailer came out on Friday for the oh, channel. Did it? D- it it did. did. It. Yes. Did it? I. It was great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I really enjoyed the bit <laughs> where the trailer happened. Yep, that that did happen. Good point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that okay. came out Friday. For anyone, we're recording this on a Thursday. I'm not just being an idiot. <laughs> I have, I have got recorded um, uh, top ten underrated Pokemon, so I just need to edit that one. But that's going to take a bit of a. Uh, uh, there'll be a bit more editing with that one because I'm going to use um, actual like show their stats on the screen because obviously if you're talking about underrated Pokemon, yes. you need to say. You kind of want to rate them. <laughs> yeah, you can't just go. People don't like it, but I think it's really nice. You know, you have to actually 
<laughs> uh, to actually yeah. physically look into base stats and how their yeah. ability can change their stats and certain moves that can make them str- you know it's re- it was it was the most researched video I've done for quite some time yeah that does sound quite involved because it's like oh actually yeah they've got a really high like special attack stat so if you teach them this move or these moves they're actually like uber deadly yeah, yeah. and equally if they've got a bad stat but great everywhere else but yeah. there's a way to make that stat really good, then yeah. they become even more deadly. So it's... What, like with candies or something? Yeah. Yeah, Parasect mm. features some candies, but I'll get into that when the video comes along. Cool. Yeah, so, yeah, there's that. Uh, haven't filmed anything else or planned anything else yet, actually. Might do something more discussion-based rather than a top ten or a gameplay or a master trainer. Maybe, maybe. But like yeah. I say, first week in Whitham next week, 10 minutes from home. I'll Excellent. be home by 5 on a good day every day rather than 7, so I've got a good 2 hours extra to plan stuff. Every single day, which is all very handy. Exactly. I'll have an extra bit of time to play games as well, such as Link's Awakening, which came out <laughs> a week or so Ooh. ago. How Have you been playing a lot of it? I've been... Pl- yeah, I'd say the weekend it came out, I played a fair bit, which yeah. was last... Friday, the twentieth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, twentieth. <laughs> the something. Oh. The something. <laughs> so the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I played that game heavily. I would say actually, I got four oh. things out of eight that you need. Oh blimey, that so, is a lot. Yeah, I haven't done much extra, so I'm going to do the extra bits next. Yeah, but all of the weekdays following that, following that weekend, was spent working or doing some videos. I haven't really played any games to be honest. Yeah. But, yeah, I, today I was going to give a sort of spoiler-free review into Link's Awakening anyway. Please do. I will do, because it's, well, it's a bloody good game, actually. Is it? Did you play the original version? I No, I didn't. So everything is brand new to you? Yeah. Oh, as it is to me. Exactly. But I, Cool. I, correct me if wrong, but I think they've got it on the Nintendo Online Entertainment System thing. Uh, I don't think so because I believe it was a Game Boy game. Oh really? Yes, oh, it okay. wasn't a home console, it was a handheld game. What am I thinking of? I'm going to look at a list while I talk. <laughs> um, there is a SNES I think it's A Link to the Past which was a SNES game on the NES online thing. That could um, well be. With all, the, with all the new SNES games that came out. But I believe I'm right in saying that the original version of Link's Awakening was a Game Boy game. Right, okay then. Um, and it was released in, I think, 1993. Okay. So it would have been around the SNES era. Yeah. Oh, fair enough. Um, but yes, yeah, so it won't be... It, you shouldn't be able to get the original version on there yet, unless yeah. they do at some point, hopefully do Game Boy games as well, which would be quite nice. Yeah. Well, like you say, Link, Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past is on there. And just yeah. The Legend of Zelda. Oh, yeah, from the NES. Yeah, that's been on there for quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, mm. well, anyway, yeah, fair enough. I've learned that. Lovely. I might even find a Game Boy <laughs> game then of that one. You're meant to be the Nintendo expert. Yeah. I'm the PlayStation guy. Earlier, <laughs> earlier Zelda, I'm not um, I'm not clued up on. Uh, yeah, I think it's probably my latent SNES knowledge. Yeah. From when I were a boy. When you were a lad. When I were about a boy. <laughs> In my day. <laughs> Luxury. Anyway, um, before I start reciting Monty <laughs> Python. Yeah, I <laughs> I won't go into any spoilers or massive details, but it's just, it's an incredible game, really. Mm. It's, you basically get marooned on an island. I'll give a vague plot. Uh, you basically get marooned on an island because you got caught in a storm when you were out on the sea. Yeah, that's a very generic general thing, and you have to. The only way you can get off off this island is to gather eight instruments, play them together at the same time, and then the wind fish will take you to where you came from. Basically, they'll take you off the island safely. Mm, that's okay. essentially it. That's not giving anything Odd away. Concept. That is just what okay. you have to do. <laughs> Has there been any mention of Ganon at all? No, actually. Oh, okay, so it very much is a kind of offshoot type game. 
Exactly, yeah. So it will be very different from any other entry. That's quite cool. Yeah. There are certain... You basically start in a town, and you can. there is a map, and you go around different places, and they've got different sort of climates for different areas. It's not like yeah. it's just one big forest with a town in it. Yeah. It is just one town, from what I've seen so far. It's not like you go from, you know, Elden to, you know... Uh, forgot ever Gerudo there you go <laughs> oh right yeah yeah yeah. but there's 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 like a desert there isn't there and a woodland or yeah. mountains or something so there's yeah different and there's, kind of areas they're very clever in how you can't access other areas immediately because every time you finish a dungeon which is where one of the musical instruments are you essentially I'm not, I'll try not to give anything away now <laughs> <laughs> you essentially acquire a way to get through a certain place. Oh, uh, okay. And Fair then enough. it's not like you go into that place and then there's another thing to do. You sort of can then access that area, but you might need to go back to where you came from or go over here or you need to search up there to go down here and it's Yeah. Yeah, it's very much it a game where they give you clues of what you need to do, but don't tell you what you need to do, which is I find really endearing, really great That's to be honest. quite nice. Yeah, that that is a kind of a staple of older types of games isn't yeah. it really rather than holding your hand and going right now we walk over here and talk to this person they're telling you to go and get that item in that place so yeah, off you go exactly. you may get something like go and see this person and you're like okay mm-hmm. fair enough this seems yeah. straightforward and then you go to that person's house and they're not there and everyone's like where have they gone and you're like right okay <laughs> yeah now i'm on my own <laughs> oh, okay where do That's i find cool. them that's quite breath of the wildy though yeah, isn't it in that in that sense? You get kind of clues as to, well, whenever you can get over there, that person might help you with stuff. But yeah, don't feel you have to. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, there are sort of nods to Breath of the Wild in there. I know it sounds weird, but the options menu and like the save menu is almost exactly the same as Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so that's cool. pretty good. You can have three slate uh, three save slots as well. Cool. So that's pretty handy. Uh, the dungeons themselves are just massive logic puzzles. Mm-hmm. But you don't do, like, one and then move to the next. You may have to go, like, five rooms onwards to get something that helps you in the first room, or, you know, for example. Oh, OK, so that's it's, quite cool. So yeah. rather than do the first one into the second one, onto the third one, it's it's yeah. kind of more open than that. Yeah, so it, it's... They're very... I, I love logic-type games like that. Not just, like, yeah. all-out... Do a, do a logic right now. Do another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's games that incorporate logical puzzles. You know, hence why I like Pokemon so much sometimes because they've got lots of bits of logic in there in the later games. Yeah, oh, cool. as well as Link's Awakening. The actual sort of graphics of it are fantastic. I'm sure you've seen that anyway from trailers. Yeah, it does look very charming. It yeah. looks well. They they it looks like they've tried to kind of stay true to the original version, but obviously with. Um, kind of more updated graphics and sound and everything but yeah, without yeah. going well let's make it look exactly like Breath of the Wild because we just did that recently right yeah well like I said yeah spot on really it's sort of like um, similar to how Let's Go stayed sort yeah. of true to the original yeah that's you know but obviously with 1080p graphic graphics of course yeah but I would wholeheartedly recommend it. Hmm. You, I yeah. have to put that on my Christmas list. It, yeah, I'd give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Good game. Alright. I will be finishing it and probably doing it again at some point. <laughs> cool. But it's sort of a brief overview. It's it's hard to not get any spoilers away in there. Yeah, I suppose it's the kind of game where if you went into far too much detail, then yeah. anyone playing it would be like, oh, yeah, I already knew that was going to happen because you told me. Yeah. And that's ruined the discovery of it. But then that's kind of Zelda to a T, isn't it? You've got to be, if you are going to kind of give any ideas of it, you've got to be quite select with what you say. Yeah, exactly. It's good, though. It's good. It's not too <laughs> difficult, but it's also not too hand-holdy, so that's good. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yes. Will you probably completely disregard it though once Sword and Shield come out and forget it exists? More than likely for a, <laughs> a long period. <laughs> I'm debating, you know, I'm just when Sword and Shield come out, I'm debating when I'm going to do a video on Sword on it. You know, when I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to want to, I'm not going to be able to 
get away from the bloody console. I was going to say, yeah, that you, you've got to then dedicate time to actually not play it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I also want to join, you know, I don't want to miss out on the hype train. So we'll see. Yeah. That's a story okay. for another time. We've got a few more podcasts till that comes out. Yes, you have. Yeah. It's not actually that a month and a half. Uh, actually, let's have a look. How many podcasts have we got? So what's that? Three? So it's 13th of October, 27th of October, 10th of November. Yep, three more podcasts and then Sword and Shield is out. Three more podcasts with Trevor and then <laughs> then you're away. Yes, good point, yeah. Maybe you should get Trevor to do videos on it while you keep playing it then. Yeah, that that I'm sure that's how that works. <laughs> or he could play it and you could do the videos and he could just tell you what it was like. <laughs> I'm not missing out on that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we'll see. Oh, yeah, and um, I'm actually is it going to be before I I'm just trying to figure it out now. Do, 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 do. No, we'll have another podcast before then. <laughs> no, there's a Pokemon shop opening day is 18th of October and I'm going to go down there. But we've got another podcast until oh, then. Oh, okay, yeah. I suddenly forgot to mention Aaron. that was a thing. But anyway, yeah, no, I'll stop there. I said it was going to be okay. quick, but I ended up yakking on as always. <laughs> we always do. We always, yeah, it's going to be a short one. Uh, yeah, 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 games, it's games, going to be a medium one. <laughs> uh, yeah, anyway, well, to stop me talking. <laughs> well, there's there's not much for me to, to kind of go into, really, because I'm just going to have a little bit of a quick chat about PlayStation's new state of play that they did in September. Oh, okay. Um... It yeah, it was meh, really. There wasn't anything overly great. There was one piece of very, very good news, right. um, which I'll kind of come to. Um, but interestingly, there it seems like they're trying to kind of push VR again. Um, mm-hmm. Whether they're just kind of kind of try and give it one last resurgence before the PS5 comes out, because um, there were quite a few kind of. I guess most of them were indie type ish games for it. Yeah, but no big one, hits. Well, one interesting thing that they they are doing is Rockstar's La Noir. I don't know if you're aware of that game. It was I've, a PlayStation yeah. Three game. I've I, I've seen it. Not yeah. Where don't you, know much where about you, it, but I have. Yeah. You're kind of a. I think it's sort of, it's sort of set in Hollywood in the forties, like post war. Yeah. Um, and you're a police officer, and you've got to basically go around and search for clues and then interrogate people. Um, and there there was a lot of um, kind of emphasis, even at the time, put on the character's facial expressions. Yeah. And then when they redid it for the PS4, they were obviously able to enhance that a little bit more. Well, they're actually doing um, VR case files version which oh, right. is actually already out. It was out on the day of the State of Play release. So I don't know whether that's just a few extra cases that are in VR or whether they've rebuilt the entire thing as a VR game. I'm not entirely sure. But obviously, while you're kind of in the world with a VR headset on, presumably you can get a better understanding of reading the characters' faces and how they're acting to you. Because that's kind of the main mechanic behind interrogating them really is to try and read them. Okay. Interesting. As if, yeah, as if you were a police officer, I suppose, which I seem to be very bad at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very good, so whether the VR thing will make it easier for me or not, I don't know. Well, it could do. Yeah. You have you, have you got capacity for VR? I do have a VR system, yes. Perfect. So, uh, yeah, I don't know how, uh, I mean, I guess the price will tell me whether it's a full game or not. If it's only, like, £15, and it's probably DLC. If it's close to 40 it's probably the entire game remade. But I haven't looked that much into it yet, because I don't have any money for buying anything, so I can't anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Too much house Annoyingly. stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, lots of house stuff, but, yeah. <laughs> A couple of other interesting things, though, that came out. Um, one is another thing that's actually already launched, which is a demo for the PS4 um, version of Medieval. Right, OK. Which is come... The actual game is coming out, I think, later this year, but there's a demo already launched for it. Um, 
not played the original game myself, but it I seem to remember it being quite big at the time. Okay. And it's finally coming to PS4, and I think there's been quite a call for it to come to PS4. So I think if you play the demo, you get a few extra items on launch. Oh, that's handy. So it, at least it gives you a reason to try it, and it's free, isn't it? So because it's yeah. a demo, so makes well, sense. Yeah. And I assume you were giving that a try. Yeah, I'll probably see what it's like, and then obviously I'll get the free item then, and yeah. if I like it and get the game, maybe in the new year or whatever when it's cheaper and if I don't like it I can just delete the demo can't I yeah yeah no fair enough <laughs> hmm. um, the main thing though well the the kind of main news in terms of my brain was I saw um, the the storyline trailer for Call of Duty Modern Warfare the newest one and I actually quite liked it what it looked quite good. Yeah, I was quite amazed. Like, ow, there's, there's, there's sort of story here and <laughs> character. And, like, it it seems really interesting and engaging. Isn't which that an compl- Xbox thing? What, Call of Duty? Yeah. No. Oh, OK, carry on. No, they've always, <laughs> they've always been out on PlayStation. Oh, fair enough. Um, but they're just... You, I'm not a big first-person shooter anyway, because it's usually, welcome to a room, shoot all the things. Yeah. Please... <laughs> walk down the hallway to shoot more things. I do find There's, that just that, like this is a slightly different monster to the last version of the game we did. Go into yeah. the room and shoot them all. <laughs> well, especially with Call of Duty, the fact that they bring it out every year because they have like two studios make it. Yeah. And it takes them about two years to make one, so they just do alternate releases. Makes sense. And they're basically the same thing. And then they go, oh yeah, and there's also an online multiplayer thing, which I never liked, to be honest. <laughs> Fair enough. Like, even going all the way back to multiplayer um, Goldeneye on the N64, I didn't have fun with that. That's probably going to get me some heat with people. Ooh. Single yeah. player, though, still great. Um, yeah. <laughs> Very nostalgic. Never was a f- I, well, I never was a fan of the N64, really. I was a PlayStation boy. So. Yeah. Fair enough. I yeah. won't begrudge that of you, because I also had PlayStation. I had both, but but yeah. I did for a time, but yeah, I've always kind of been SNES and then PlayStation me, really. Yeah. So, yeah, because of that, I've never really been a massive first-person shooter or multiplayer kind of player anyway. Yeah. But the story mode of that looks really, really, really interesting, um, which really surprised me. I was like, watching it, I was like, this looks really cool. Oh, hang on, this is the new Call of Duty game. What? <laughs> <laughs> Did you not know it was Call of Duty before? Uh... <laughs> uh, no, because I was only kind of half watching it, because I was watching it while I was at work. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so you, I didn't really you on your hear... lunch break, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. Um, but at the beginning of the video, there's kind of a more of an explanation of this is the new kind of storyline mode for the next Call of Duty game. So, like, oh, OK, I clearly missed that when I was watching it the first time. Yeah. So I was okay. just like, oh, that is a revelation, the fact that they've actually made me interested and care about one. <laughs> is there anything specific about it that piqued your interest? Um, Just... The fact that it seemed like other similar kind of action games that aren't just specific um, first-person shooter games that I've played, games that have kind of um, gunplay and combat elements, but they're sort of more action-adventure games, so there's more a kind of heavy emphasis on characters and story rather than just, here's a gun, shoot some people. (laughs) Things like, um, well, I know it's kind of more on the stealth side, but Metal Gear or um, God of War, um, Horizon Zero Dawn. So there's plenty of combat in there, but that's not basically all the game is. There are kind of decent characters in there. There's a storyline as to why you're in the world that you're in and why you're doing what you're doing. And this kind of felt more like one of them to me, so... Yeah, that was quite cool. Okay, it sounds pretty yeah. interesting. Yes. Well, um, would you recommend that trailer to other people? <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, see what it's see what it's like. Um, 
and obviously if you're a Call of Duty fan you're probably going to get it anyway not saying that you are but to <laughs> the the general you um, but yeah, yeah. If, if anyone likes I mean I'm, I haven't looked too deeply into it so I might be completely like taken aback when I actually see some proper gameplay of it and it literally is just one cutscene at the beginning and that's all they've shown in the uh, trailer and then it is just literally level after level of just shoot this thing in the face <laughs> So I might be completely, like, impressed now and then disappointed later, but who knows. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Quick question for you. Yeah? Do you have a PlayStation Plus subscription? I do not, no. Oh, uh, never mind. Because if you did, <laughs> I was going to suggest that you get The Last of Us Remastered, ah, which is next okay. one of next month's free games. And the reason I mention that is because the best part about the state of play was we got another trailer for The Last of Us Part 2, and mm. we found out that it releases in February next year. Oh, that's quite soon. And I am so happy about that, <laughs> and it looked amazing. That is very... yeah, that's very soon. Yeah, it's sooner than I thought it was going to be. There'd been kind of rumours that it was going to be February, but I kind of had in my head that it was going to be probably the summer okay, and be one of kind of the last big games on PS4 to be released. Um, because that seems to be very close to the Final Fantasy VII remake date. Oh, right. It's only kind of a few weeks ahead of it, but hey, <laughs> that's when they're doing it for, so woohoo. <laughs> Did they release much in the trailer to give... Any... Um, yeah, there was quite a bit of um, gameplay in um, that, you, that you got to see, and I've then since watched a PlayStation Access video, um, which is about 10 or 12 minutes long, where they go into kind of how they have um, updated and enhanced the gameplay and the combat system. Okay. Um, and kind of made all the elements better and smoother and kind of more detailed than they were in the first game because they managed to play a little bit of the game yeah because obviously they work for PlayStation so yeah. <laughs> yeah that was that was nice to watch so yeah if anyone is slightly interested in that i would definitely suggest checking out it yeah it's about 10 minutes long it's seven ways they've made uh, combat better i think is what they've called it oh, okay. and it, yeah it just goes into how um, they've kind of taken some of the elements that were maybe a little bit too basic in the first game and developed them and, and made them a lot better Okay. and it looks super cool <laughs> <laughs> it's probably a game I will try eventually I yeah definitely would suggest it I mean if you could probably in fairness pick up the first one remastered super cheap anyway more than likely. Um, if you don't want to get a subscription just to get the game for free, you can probably get a second-hand copy of it for less than a fiver now, I would have thought. Yeah, I mean, I I think I've seen it recently in, like, CEX, and it's been exceptionally... It's getting cheaper and cheaper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because it, cause it was... I mean, it, it was one of the last PlayStation 3 games, and then they remastered it for PS4 nearly straight away. Yeah. So, I mean, even if you just want to get the PS3 version, yeah, okay, it's not going to look quite as nice, and you won't have the um, DLC storyline, but yeah. the main game is still there, and it will probably be even cheaper. So, Well, it says here on the CEX website, uh, the PS3 version is £4, or the remastered yeah. PS4 version is 12 Oh, that's more than I thought. Yeah, it's still not bad. Twelve, I suppose. It's not too bad. It is a very good game, and that does come with um, a decent um, DLC storyline that fleshes out one of the main characters quite a lot, and has a good couple of hours worth of gameplay to it. Yeah. Okay. It kind of slots in about halfway through the main story, and then has flashback moments um, to kind of understand her character a bit better. Okay. So, yeah. I shall give it a go, eventually. It's worth looking into, yeah. But, yeah, anyone that has got a PlayStation Plus subscription, definitely download that game and play it, because it's brilliant. Okay. All right, well, thank you for the advice. <laughs> and then, yeah, part two comes out in February, and I can't wait. Everyone buy it. <laughs> yeah, all of the people buy it. Or everyone buy a copy and then post it to me so that I don't have to buy one. Yeah, do that. Actually, do that instead. <laughs> Yeah, that would be great. Cheers. <laughs> Your address is my address. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's 123 Fake Street. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Alright then, well yes. 
Hmm. Okay. So that was the state of play. Sounds like an all right state of play. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. They then went, oh yeah, by the way, there's also a limited edition Death Stranding PS4. Who cares? Boring. Nothing about the game. And then, yeah, some other weird indie titles that I'd never heard of that I don't care about that I've already forgotten what they're called. Yeah, fair enough. (laughs) So There's a lot of um, weird indie type but good games on the Nintendo eShop at the moment for um, a lot of them are on sale. I know Cuphead's on there for sale. Oh, is it? Good. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. That is meant to be very. Like, I wouldn't even really class that as an indie game now. It got no, so it's actually, big. yeah, exactly. It's so big. Um, what else is there? <laughs> he says whilst <laughs> clicking eShop on his Switch, which was right next to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, actually, Stardew Valley is about eight pounds now as well. No, that's not bad. Yeah. Uh, right. Current offers. Sorry, everyone. Yeah, I think Just in I'll case you want it for twelve. Uh, so yeah, yeah, definitely buy it for eight. Just in case you want a Switch recommendation, yeah, Cuphead, thirteen forty nine. You can get Fishing Very Universe good. at ninety percent off for eighty nine p. Another one that's meant to be good, Hollow Knight. Oh yeah, that's only six pound fifty now as well. Hmm. So, yeah, I mean it's Payday Monday. I might look on here for a few sort of things. Celeste is on there as well. Hmm. I nice. don't know much about it, but I s- keep seeing that game pop up on loads of lists and Fair videos and whatnot. Multiple Final Fantasy games. Oh, are they all on sale again? They're on sale quite often on the uh, on the Nintendo eShop. Yeah, I mean, seven for a start. Uh, yeah. Other ones that I can't find now. <laughs> yeah, they usually do. It'd probably be all of them apart from eight, because eight's quite new. Yeah. Nine will probably be on there as a remaster for oh, cheap. That's yep. usually because that's been out for God knows how many years. Yeah. I'm right on cue. That's when you were. Uh, yeah, I saw it. There it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot and Crash Team Racing. What the original versions or the new remasters? The remasters. Oh wow. Yeah. Overcooked. I'm surprised they've got Crash Team Racing on there on sale already. Yeah, I mean, I can't find it now, but I just went past it. (laughs) Did that go? Anyway, this isn't part of the podcast. Apologies, people. But equally, I mean, I I mean, technically, it is. I'm, I'm not editing it out. Yeah. (laughs) Sonic Sega Ages is only four pounds. Yeah. My time in Porsche is meant to be good as well, but that's seventeen forty nine, so it's still a little pricey. That seems to be basically, well, as far as I'm aware, it's very similar to what Stardew Valley kind of is. Yeah. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong, but... Well, I know one person who plays it, so I'll double-check tomorrow. Slash, oh, right. I would have double-checked by now, and maybe I'll leave a comment. <laughs> Fair enough. Crash Team Racing, down from 34 99 to 26 25 That's not too bad. 24% off, which is a really Although, random Although, in number. fairness, <laughs> if I do buy, buy that game, or rather, when I buy that game, it will be for PS4, not for Switch. Yeah. Because it will just be better on that. More Because it's a better console in terms of running games. Yeah. Also, Crash is a PlayStation character. Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting it for the Switch, because that just feels weird. <laughs> oh, 79p for... 89p for Fishing Universe. And now looking at that going, oh, I could do. Anyway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Well, that is my last ever offering. Yes, that British guy will no podcast. longer feature in podcasts. No, so have fun in two weeks' time with whoever you manage to rope in. <laughs> I'm sure I'll find someone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'll be sure to be listening at home. <laughs> oh, well, do when leave a comment live. if you do. <laughs> oh, yeah, I will. <laughs> Definitely. All right, then. Well, yes, well, it's been another lovely fortnight. It has. I know. Won't see you again, that British guy, <laughs> next next time. No, no, no. But I will see you indeed through through the wonderful medium of my phone or a computer screen. Exactly right. All right. Well, see you all around. Thanks for listening, everyone. Bye, bye, everybody. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs>